What's up guys? Welcome to vlog 23, I think. 23 already. It's Friday, August 26th. Happy, I think it's National Dog Day or something I saw on Facebook. My dog's out there doing his thing. Um, so I haven't talked to you guys since Friday of last week. I try to upload two vlogs a week. <clears throat> this week I haven't, I wasn't able to do that. Um, super busy designing a new program, um, a new transformation program for 2017 called the Machine Routine. I think you guys are really going to love it. One of the biggest questions I get is, Lance, what are you putting your personal training clients through to get the transformations they're getting? So um, I put it down on paper, pretty similar. Um, it's going to involve resistance training, weightlifting, some high intensity interval training, uh, metabolic conditioning. Um, everything that's going to make you perform better, look better, lose weight. Um, there will be meal plans with that. I will help you guys with your calories and macros. Um, and you guys will be ready to kick butt. So I'm really looking forward to it. I start the program on Monday. Um, I've got some weight to shed before the holidays. So me and a couple other guys are going to be going through it, perfecting it, tweaking it. I have a test group going through October 3rd. They'll be going through, we'll be tweaking it more, and we'll have it perfected for you guys in January of 2017. Uh, but uh, you'll see a couple updated vlogs here and there. Um, those in the machine routine group will probably get daily videos from me, just talking about you know how the day went, how I'm feeling, what I'm eating what my macro goals are, what my calorie goals are. I'll be putting a little bit of that on the vlog too. But what I really wanted to do today was um, show you guys how I go about designing a training program. Hopefully that will help you. Um, and then preparing to start a new training program. Um, so I got you know, a new training program starting Monday. I'll be uh, getting my macros worked out, my calories worked out, um, going to the grocery store, getting all prepared for the week. Um, and, and then just getting ready to crush it. So I uh, got some weight to lose before the holidays because the worst thing you want to do is get to the holidays and be behind the eight ball um, and, and trying to, uh, there's nothing worse than trying to lose weight during the holidays. So um, anyway, hope you enjoy the vlog this week. Today we are headed to a send-off party for one of my clients who's headed to Rio going for gold in the Paralympic sitting volleyball team. She happens to be my wife's cousin too. Uh, we all went to college together and uh, let's see, we figured this out. It was 19 years ago. Yeah, 19, about 19 years ago. She was in a boating accident and uh, lost her leg just a, just below her right knee. Um, and it's really been cool to watch her turn something, you know, a negative into something so positive. And this will be her third Olympics. She's 39, she's same age as me. Uh, this will be her third Olympics. She's won two silvers, going for gold this year. I'm super excited. I've been training her for the last two years. So I'm really excited to see how they do this year. Um, what else? What else can you say about Nikki? She's amazing. She is amazing. She's really amazing. Are you girls excited to cheer her on? Yeah. So we've all got our shirts on, our number 13 shirts, and we're excited to live stream it. Um, for those that don't know, the Paralympics happens after the Olympics. They get the same medals, they get the same clothing before they go. They have the opening ceremonies, closing ceremonies. Stay in the village. They stay in the village, so they get to experience everything the Olympians get to experience, which is really cool. Um, 
and uh, like I said, same medal. So she has two silver medals from London and from Beijing. Beijing. So this year, we're really hoping she gets the gold. Ready to cheer her on. So that's what we're doing today. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of Nikki's story just because she inspires me so much. Here's somebody that had a tragic accident happen. Rather than make excuses, um, let things limit her, she gets up, she attacks the day, she makes herself better. There's no quit in that girl. And I wanted to show you guys that to just put things in perspective and make you guys realize that if she's doing it, you guys can do it. You just have to make this a priority um, and we're not talking about getting down to 5% body fat, having incredible abs. We're talking about improving your quality of life so you can be around for your kids and your family and take care of them. We're talking about lowering your cholesterol, lowering your blood pressure, improving quality of life, improving, improving movement patterns, just moving better, feeling better, um, all those things. And the way you do that is with exercise and nutrition. Guess what's right around the corner? The holidays. And once the holidays get here, losing weight is gonna be really tough. So now is the time to get things locked in. I wanna help you guys figure out what program you wanna use, figure out your nutrition, um, and then get your day one rolling. Get it going, get it kicked off on the right foot. So the first thing you guys need to do is figure out what program you want to use to get your results. You need to make sure it coincides with your fitness level. If you have knee injuries, back injuries, you need to pick something that's low impact that you can do. Some things you might have to modify. One of the other keys you guys need to figure out is what do you love to do? 80% of your workouts should be designed towards a goal you love to do. Now 20% of your workouts can be something that really is going to push you, that you're really weak at, which means you're going to suck at it. 20% so of your workouts, make sure those are something that you're not good at that are going to improve you and make you better. 80% of your workouts, make sure there's something that are fun, that you love, that you get excited to do every day. The other important thing about program design is time limitations. Some of you have an hour to work out, some only have 30 minutes, some have an hour and a half. Figure out a program that's going to coincide with the amount of time you have to work out. If you can only devote 30 minutes to work out, you need to pick a program with workouts that are 30 minutes. If uh, you need help developing your own program, let me know, I'm always happy to do that. If you need help selecting the proper program for your fitness needs, let me know. If you're worried about which programs are 30 minutes long, an hour long, an hour and a half, let me know. We have everything you guys could want to achieve your fitness goals. All right guys, we're in my kitchen and we're talking about the most important thing of any workout program and that's nutrition. The first thing I recommend all my clients do is get a week under their belt of just tracking, not dieting, 
eat what you normally would eat so we can establish a baseline, determine what amount of calories you're eating to maintain your body weight, and then from that we can determine a healthy cut, a healthy calorie deficit to make sure you're losing proper amounts of weight and that you don't start off at too big of a calorie deficit and ruin your metabolism. That step is key. Now there's a couple things you can do once you establish that baseline. You can message me if you want. I can help you figure out how many calories you need, how much protein, fats, and carbs you need. Um, or another great resource I found is avatarnutrition.com website ran by Lane Norton. You can go on there, it's $10 a month. So if you don't have $10 a month, email me. If you wanna spend the $10 a month, it's a great resource. They, uh, they have plans for reverse dieting. If you have ruined your metabolism, they have plans for cutting um, moderately to aggressively. Um, they also have, uh, what the one thing I really like about it is if you're somebody who eats more on the weekends, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is typically me, um, you can adjust your calories and set those three days as high days. And then Monday through Thursday, you're going to get a little bit less calories, a little bit less carbs, fats, and proteins. Um, but it all averages out in the end. But it's a way to track really good Monday through Thursday. Friday through Saturday, you get a little bit more room for when you eat out. It works really well. You can figure that out on your own too, but it's kind of nice uh, little feature they have built into the website. So let's... Uh, let's first talk about supplements because it's the most common question I get when starting a program. What supplements do I need? Let me start by telling you guys this. If you are not going to work out, if you are not going to eat properly, if you are not going to get six to eight hours of sleep a night, don't waste your money on supplements. That Those three things I mentioned, eating properly, working out, getting the proper amount of rest, are going to be 97% of your results. Supplements are going to be about 3 to 5%. So don't even waste your money on that 3 to 5% if you're not going to get the 95 to 97% right in the first place. That being said, there are a couple supplements that I use that I recommend. We'll go over those real quick. Um, number one, I love to get my normal diet. It's really hard for me to get the proper amount of greens probiotics, prebiotics, phytonutrients, adaptogens in my diet. So I love a good, healthy green shake once a day. Totally up to you whether you want to do that, whether you have the budget for it. I use Shakeology, 70 whole foods, no preservatives. I'll put the link in the description box below if you want to try it. You have 30 days. If you didn't like it or it doesn't do anything for you, you can return the empty bag and you get all your money back. So really nothing to lose. But I've been using that for five years. It's a wonderful, wonderful supplement. Um, next thing I recommend is a good whey protein isolate. Again, I'll put descriptions, uh, I'll links to the description, links to the products down below. Um, ISO Dimatize 100, brand I really trust and love. And this is the whey protein I use pre and post workout. Um, creatine, any creatine monohydrate will do, doesn't matter. Uh, but it's a very effective, most studied supplement and will really help your results. Lastly, I love a safe, let me emphasize that word, safe pre-workout. Um, this is Beachbody's pre-workout Energize. It has very low amounts of caffeine, 100 milligrams from green tea. It's got beta alanine in it and it's got quercetin, which is, which is an anti-inflammatory. A lot of pre-workouts you see out on the market will have 400 milligrams of caffeine or excess of 400 milligrams of caffeine. Um, not so great for you. Um, so this, no preservatives, no artificial flavorings, no artificial sweeteners. Uh, very, very safe, very effective. Gives me that little boost before my workout, especially if you're working out early in the morning. This stuff is great. Um, and sometimes I'll just use this instead of coffee. I'll just have a scoop and, and go and be ready for the day. All right, now that we have supplements down, let's talk snacks, because snacks are key for me. I'm a big snack eater. Um, have you guys seen that meme on uh, the Matrix meme where it says, I don't even see food anymore, I just see carbs, fats, and proteins? It's exactly how I look at snacks. I have my snacks uh, that are a little bit higher in carbs, I have my snacks that are higher in protein, and my snacks that are higher in fat. Um, so let's go over those real quick. A Couple of my higher protein snacks uh, that I use, 
Um, I just love these just because they're quick, easy, muscle milk, 32 grams protein, 160 calories, uh, seven carbs, and two grams of fat. I can fit that in my day really easy. Quest bars, again, all natural ingredients, ingredients I, I know and, and recognize. Um, 14 grams of fiber and I think 20 grams of protein, 21 grams of protein, 20 grams of carbs. Really good. Um, there for a while they didn't taste so great, but they're better now. They changed their formula a little bit. Light and fit yogurts. Again, another good snack option. These are about equal in carbs and fats. Uh, Oikos triple zero, um, had about 120 calories, 15 grams of protein, zero fat, and 14 carbs. So higher in protein, another great snack. Now getting into the carbohydrate snacks. If you guys crave chips, pop chips are great. Just make sure you're fitting them in your calories and macros and that you're weighing and measuring them. About 120 calories, four grams of fat, 18 grams of carbs, two grams of protein. So basically no protein, basically all carb snack. But if you're craving chips, these are really good. Uh, weigh and measure, remember weigh and measure because you can eat a bag of these without even blinking. Um, Popcorn, I love this stuff. 35 calories per cup, 140 calories per serving. Again, mostly carbs, but if you fit it into your day, it's a great snack at night. Uh, these I've just recently found. Again, be careful with these because the serving size is for two. One of these is two servings. So on the back, if you flip it over, you're like, oh, only 190 calories. It's actually 380 calories for one of these. So when I'm cutting, a lot of times I'll have half of one of these. Um, just if I'm craving cookies or sweets, it's a great thing to have in the house instead of reaching for Oreos. But um, one serving has eight grams of protein, 27 carbs. So again, higher on carb, um, six fats. But if you can fit it into your calories and macros, these are great. The I know I'm a bit of a girl on this, but the pumpkin spice are amazing. Um, another thing I like to use when I'm sitting in front of the TV, watching TV, uh, hummus and carrots. Great snack. So those are the snacks I use to help me stay on track when I'm cutting. All right, after you've got your calories and macros set and a couple snack options in the carb category and protein category, you're ready to meal prep. There's a couple different ways you can do this. We have the TD Nation eBooks. If you guys haven't seen those, I'll show you that right now. Um, we have TD Nation eBooks. You can email me or again, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, but we have a bunch of recipes, carbs and macros worked out. I'm gonna make this barbecue pulled chicken. You can follow the eBooks as written, takes all the guesswork out, or you can do what I do, which is basically pick three meals I wanna make for the week, make those on my prep day, which is today. I'm gonna make some barbecue pulled chicken, uh, some feta cheese stuffed chicken and uh, pork with sweet potatoes and apples. Those will be my three base meals, higher protein, lower carb meals that I can fit in. And then I work everything around. So like today, um, I've already eaten just pre and post workout, 80 grams protein, 55 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat. Today is one of my low days. I've got 96 grams of protein left, 92 grams of carbs, 50 grams of fat. So now I'm just gonna fill the puzzle pieces in. I know what I've used for pre and post workout. Now I know I've got a couple meals left and some snacks. I'm just gonna fill all those puzzle pieces in, hit my macros, hit my calories for the day. Makes it really simple. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to make my first uh, food prep meal. It couldn't be easier. Anybody can do this one. All you need, chicken, red onion, apple cider vinegar, a low sugar barbecue sauce. This one's pretty good. Only four grams of sugar for every two tablespoons. Low sugar ketchup, pepper, pan. Really, really simple guys. Two and a half pounds of chicken breast, half cup of water, half cup of apple cider, four cloves of garlic, um, oops, I forgot the garlic, four tablespoons low sugar ketchup, 10 tablespoons low sugar barbecue sauce, one chopped red onion, pinch of black pepper. You put all of it in here and you cook it. It's that simple. Um, 
you cook it around 10 15 minutes after 10 15 minutes pull the pull it off shred your chicken put it all back in cook it for another 10 minutes and you're good to go how easy is that anybody can do it and you got several meals for the entire week that's how you win guys Recipe's done. The onions are getting to me. That's what it looks like. We're gonna go put this on the stove. Pull this up to about medium. Stir that up. Get it going 10 to 15 minutes. Shred the chicken, put it back in. Another 10 minutes. We have one of the meals done for the week. All right guys, the last step to kicking off the perfect day one is you have to take your weight and your measurements. Best time to weigh in is gonna be very first thing in the morning, after you go to the bathroom, take off your clothes, step on the scale. That way you get an accurate reading at the same time every day. Whether you wanna weigh every day or once a week or once a month, it's completely up to you. If you weigh every day, just make sure you can handle the swings. Understand that things like sodium intake, carbohydrate intake, that time of the month for you ladies. All those things are gonna affect the amount of water you retain and your weight is gonna go up and down accordingly. What you wanna make sure is that the average, your weekly average goes down even with the swings. All right, once you got your weight, you're gonna take measurements. Now, however you wanna take measurements is up to you, but this is a good indicator if you're making progress if fat loss is your goal. You're gonna take one measurement across your chest, right at the nipple line. This is the uh, measuring tape I use. So I just go right, get it up there over my lats, right at the nipple line, all the way across, take my reading, record it for day one. I do at the belly button. Look at that, I got barbecue sauce and Shakeology all over me, I'm a mess today. Um, I do at the belly button. I'll do my left bicep flexed pre-workout, not post-workout, and my right bicep. I'll also do my quads. And the way I do my quads is I take the measuring tape in the middle of my kneecap, I go up seven inches, and then I wrap it around my thigh. And I take that measurement on the left, on the right, you can also take your calves, just make sure you're measuring in the same spot on your calves. Um, and you can also take around your neck if you want. Take those measurements, take your weights for day one, record those, make sure that you're making progress. If you don't make progress in a week or two, if you don't see those numbers going down, you meet, need to make adjustments in your calories and macros. All right, it's day one. You took care of your excuses. You got the program you wanna do for the next 90 days. You've got your nutrition plan down. You've got your weight and your measurements. It's only one thing to do, get after it. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? The rainbow? I can see it and it ends at Nikki's house where the pot of gold is. I think I can see it. I think it's an omen.